name's uh, Stephen Hall, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, pre uh, chair of uh, Lee Unite branch, I'm also a member of the Wigan Trades Council, I'm also a member of the uh, Wigan Borough Green Socialists, who first came up with the idea of this festival about five, six weeks ago, so the fact that it's gone from uh, an idea to events in such a short period of time I think is a testimony to the efforts of all the people who've been involved in the team. Uh, I won't mention them all here because there's too many to mention but a lot of the ones wearing the diggers uh, t-shirts are the people I'm referring to who put in a fantastic amount of effort to, to uh, bring this event off today. I'd like to thank them first. Uh, so there's various events going on all day. The reason we're having this event um, I'm from actually from Atherton, I don't know, I've only recently just started doing this work in the Wigan area, in Wigan itself, and it, one of the reasons uh, this event, you could say, is not taking place earlier is nobody's acted on the fact that Gerard Winston Lee is from this town. We used to regularly walk to our meetings through the churchyard in Wigan and come up to this house called the Gerard Winston Lee House, which is very close to the Anvil pub. And it, uh, I was asking my partner Claire over here, we were saying, who, this, who is this Gerard Winstonly character? And when we found out he was the leader of the Diggers, well, we did know about the Diggers, and it was like, wow, this guy come from Wigan. <laughs> so we, we thought, bearing in mind that I didn't, I'm a, you know, an activist, I didn't know that, about this. We, f we certainly found out that not many people in, in Wigan know about this either great socialist thinker uh, who is even acknowledged on a statue in Moscow. So we thought we'd put this event on to help raise public awareness about Gerard Winston Lee as a great Wigan, as somebody who's acknowledged on a global scale for his uh, actions and his writings. And we'd want, we, we were aimed to set it up as an annual event of a broad nature. Anybody who inspired by the diggers should feel free to come along and be part of. Uh, and uh, an enjoyable event at the time. So that's how it's come to this today. I hope you all enjoy it. We've got, we've got now we we'll introduce Derek Winston Lee, who is a, a relative of uh, Gerard, who's flown over from Illinois uh, to open this. He's going to give his own slant on this. He's very, he knows a great deal about Gerard, and I'll, I'll pass it over to him now. Thanks a lot, Steve. It's, it's great to be here, and I, I want to thank the uh, organizing committee and the sponsors for establishing this first, what I hope is going to be many, uh, Wigan Diggers Festivals. So I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, Steve said I, I, I live in America now. I've lived away from Wigan for 35 years, but it's still my hometown. I always come back here, and this, this is Wigan. It always will be. Uh, as you can tell from my name, I am a, a Winston Lee. I think we've got some other Winstonleys in the room. <laughs> Keep the clan going. <laughs> uh, all the Winstonleys originally come from the district of Winstonley. If some of you are not from Wigan area, there's a, there's a district about two miles, two and a half miles west of Wigan. There's a Winstonley Hall, which is being run down at the moment. But all the Winstonleys originally come from Winstonley. So there's no doubt, going back a thousand years, we're all related. There's about a thousand Winstonleys, I think, in the country at the moment, different families. Back in the 1600s, when Gerard Winstonley was alive, I reckon I've done a, some calculations, there were probably about 15 Winstonley families in Wigan, and probably a handful outside Wigan. So now we've got a thousand Winstonleys. 400 years ago, there were maybe 20, 25 Winstonleys. So if you go back a thousand years, that's, that's when we all started. So we're still part of the same family, even though it's difficult to draw specific links. Well, it's only taken, it's, it's Jared Winstonley's uh, 355th anniversary today of when he died. That's so, so special today. And it's, it's 402 years ago next month when he was born. So it's only taken Wigan 400 years to get, give this guy some recognition. <laughs> Like Steve says, you, you can go to Moscow if you want to see a memorial to him. There's, a, there's an obelisk in, in Moscow. Uh, when Lenin took over in 1717, one of the first things he did... So, what did I say? What did I say? Which well, uh, all these centuries I get mixed up. 1917, I'm just thinking. He, uh, there was an obelisk that the Tsars had erected a few years earlier and put all the names of the Tsars on 
So we got we scrubbed off all the names of the czars and put on all the key people found in uh, socialism and communism. And of course, at the top there's Karl Marx and Engels, and under that is Jared Winston Langford. Yeah, so you've got to go to Moscow if you want to see a memorial for this guy. So I hope we can change that and set something up more permanent in, in Wigan. Uh, just to show how poorly is recognized in Wigan, if you go on Wigan, uh, Wigan World website, there's, there's a section there on famous Wiganers. They've got Billy Boston and everybody. But he's not on there. He's not even recognized on the Wigan website. So I hope we can change that too. And there's two major history books of, of Wigan written in the 1880s, one by uh, Rector Bridgman, who was the rector, lived in the rectory here, who just walked past it. Uh, and the other one by uh, Sinclair, who was the librarian at Wigan. And these incredible volumes documenting Wigan history, the, like six volumes. I've got a lot of information from those. Without those histories, we wouldn't know as much about Wigan and what it meant, how I interpret it, what it meant to Gerard Winstonley. But neither of those two key historians either mentioned Gerard Winstonley. So we, we really want to get this guy back on, on the map and give him the recognition he, he deserves. So I'm not going to say any more now. I'll be talking a bit more detail about Jared Winstonley. And it is Winstonley. It's not Winstanley for anybody who's a foreigner. <laughs> so I'll be talking more at 4 o'clock. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I declare the festival open and all enjoy yourself. Oh, I do want to say one thing before I go. Derek Winstonley, DW. I do want to thank uh, the chairman of Wigan, Latics and Warriors, for naming the stadium after me. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, right. We've got a couple of readers just come on over. One of the things we're going to do during the course of today is we've got a number of people, and I think we're still looking for volunteers. If you want to volunteer to read one out, quotations from the works of Gerard Winstonley. Just wait, we've got two who should be ready now to speak. And as soon as they've done their bit, I say in the back room, which you can see through there. We'll be showing the film Winston Lee, an hour and a half long film about the diggers in, uh, in, in Cobham in 1649. And outside there'll be various bits of entertainment, singing and a puppet show. So that's what's going to go on in the next period. When those things uh, finish, we'll all be coming back into this area to, uh, for the next thing, which I'll find I can't remember what it is, but by the time we get there, I'm sure we will know what it is. All right. Right, come on.